This presentation is paper review about post-processing for individual fairness. The table of content is um, first I gonna talk about post-processing in algorithmic fairness. Then, because this paper's algorithm is based on DWORKS algorithm, I will uh, simply tell about the algorithm is what, what the algorithm is and problem of that algorithm. After that, I will tell this paper's algorithm and lastly by explain, explaining um, experiment results presentation will be end. So what is post-processing in algorithmic fairness? Post-processing is correcting bias in machine learning systems that are already used in production. In processing method is more effective, but it has many limitations like uh, it needs lots of computational resources. On the other hand, post-processing method has an advantage in avoiding expensive is uh, expensive retraining cost because it is processed using only output of model, not model directly. So, post processing is more su suitable in common situation because time and resources problem. Next, individual fairness can be said as similar treatment of similar individuals. There are other fair. Fairness that is group fairness that treats certain groups of individuals similarly. But this paper uses individual fairness because there are a lot of research that using group fairness already. This paper's algorithm start with DWORKS post processing algorithm and DWORKS algorithm Algorithm's objective function is like this. Uh, second line of equation uh, subject to this shows that uh, the restriction of individual fairness applied to global region. There are two problems of DWORKS equation. First, empirical, empirically, DWORKS algorithm has bad trade-off with accuracy because it restricts individual fairness in global region. Also, it has poor, <coughs> it has poor scalability because it needs much more time when dimension of y increase. Then I will talk about this paper's algorithm. Mm, this paper's algorithm select objective function as equation 1. Equation 1 is, uh, uh, in equation 1, objective function is f and y is output, lambda is constant, and ln is Laplacian matrix. Laplacian matrix can easily define with adjacency matrix w. D um, in here, D, D is a diagonal matrix that diagonal element is sum of row in adjacency matrix. And Laplacian matrix can be calculated easily just by uh, D minus W. Then, F transpose at an F production can easily calculate it as equation 4. So, when select f that make equation 1 minimum, we can notice f will be small if i and j is similar individuals. Equation 5 is a simple form to get objective function. And there are uh, advantage of this algorithm that is, it is easy to extend dimension. Assume that we want to extend to k dimension, only thing that we need to do is change calculation of two norms to Fourier norm. Um, in this algorithm compared to DWORKS algorithm, uh, this paper uses only 
locally individuality fairness uh, because the purpose is to restrict individuality fair only for similar individual. In equation 1, below the limits of this, this uh, line, uh, it means it only restrict x and x prime that fair matrix between those are less than epsilon. So, it means this equation restrict only for similar individuals. Then, when we assume uh, fair matrix uh, like this, equation 2, we can de derive equation 3 by Lagrange mean value theorem and it proved that locally individually fair when equation 3 is not infinity. Um, also we can we can use a uh, Laplacian regularizer with unnormalized but we can also use as normalized uh, Laplacian regularizer. Mm, with changing adjacent matrix as equation 1, Laplacian matrix can be normalized. And by assuming P mean exists and X is bounded, equation 2 and 3 shows that equation 4 is not infinity, either Laplacian regularizer is normalized or unnormalized. And lastly, uh, experimental result of compare, uh, comparing uh, IF constraints and GLIF. Um, and what is IF constraints? Is um, IF constraints? IF cons constraint is the works algorithm that enforce restriction to global individuals. GLIF is graph Laplacian individual fairness. That is algorithm of this paper. Firstly, GRIF has a uh, short time to derive objective function. That is only take uh, 0 0.1 seconds. And compared to IF constraints, uh, it takes 7 minutes. So it is huge difference in uh, t calculation time. And also as shown as graph GRIF has more accuracy in same logic standard deviation and race gap. Uh, in this graph, blue line is IF constraint and green red line is GRIF. Lastly, difference in between normalized and unnormalized GRIF is unnormalized GRIF has more similar outputs in the high dimension, uh, uh, high density region. So normalized GRIF is more suitable for case that uh, small set also important. Yes. So this is end of my presentation and um, I refer to those two papers and thank you.